Thanks for calling Social Security Administration. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, I've got a uh, thing about my Social Security number. And I called twice and one other person kept hanging up on me. See, uh, may I know who am I speaking to? Because I really don't know who am I talking to right now. Yeah, you're talking to Edward Tellywacker. May I have your social security number? 420-20-0420. And then did you receive the call? Yes, I did. When you received the call? About an when? hour ago. Okay. Just a second. Okay. Stay connected with me. Let me pull up your file. All right. Okay, so the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filed on your social security and we have an order to suspend your social right at this moment okay. so do you receive any call from the local police department no the only call i received from y'all from about this was from y'all okay okay no problem do, do one thing can you get the piece of paper and a pen um hold on one second Sure. Once you have it, let me know. Okay. I'm getting my pen and piece of paper now. Give me a second. Sure. Okay, I got my pen and piece of paper. Okay, so you can write it down your case ID number and your case ID number is D as in doctor, C as in California, 7010. 7010, right? So it's DT710, yes. right? Yes. Okay. And write it down the warrant number. And the warrant number is 537542. Say that again. 537542. Okay, so the warrant ID is 537542. Yes. And I want to ask you one more question uh, that you receive all on which number? Um, seven five seven three one seven three one one zero. You received the call on this number? Yes. Sorry? Yes, I received it on this number, yes. Okay. So, you wrote it down the numbers? Read me back, please. Yeah, case ID is DT... 7010. The warrant number is 537 542. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and read it out the legal charges against your name. So when I'm speaking, please do not interrupt. You will be going to get a fair chance to ask any questions once I'm done with the charges, okay? Okay. All right. So, okay, so your social has been found suspicious for a criminal activity in a state of Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? No. Okay, because we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters as we are having a strong evidence that is enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. 
And what was that? Let me tell you. The inquiry started when we found an uh, abandoned car on the south border of Texas. And the car contained some blood and the drugs. After the inquiry, we got to know that the car, uh, the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. And there is an address linked with that title of the vehicle. And an address in a city of Rollet was read by U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately, there was no one inside that residence. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, as well as some document form. Financial institutes such as the Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, and many others. And the entire paperwork, it is under your name. And thousands of dollars has been wired from these bank accounts locally and internationally, which is totally suspicious. That is the reason we as a Social Security Administration has filed a case against your name for the drug trafficking and for the money laundering. And as we have very short time and whatever has been done, it is totally against the law of U.S. Treasury. So that is the reason why we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name and we have to suspend your social right away according to to Section 42, Subsection C of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration Act, you are going to be taken for a non-bail jail in terms of nine years, and the penalty should be $89,000. Okay. So, do you have any idea about this case and the criminal activities? No, none whatsoever. All right. So in that case, okay, because the, uh, in that case, we also check your past records and every record was genuine. So that is the reason why we called you before you face any kind of a legal consequences, okay? That's okay. why we called you so that we can get verified and we can find out right what was the thing exactly exactly so as you as you are telling me it you don't know about this right right today can you tell me how come your social has been used have you ever shared your information to anybody or over the internet for applying job for a loan for a shopping for a net banking for no. this kind of stuff have you ever used then how come your social has been used in taxes for a criminal activity? I have no idea. Okay, so in that case, if you are agreed to help to the Department of Treasury in this case, then we can put your case and the arrest warrant on hold, as we have to find the real culprit who has used your personal information toward this criminal activity, okay? Okay. And to cancel the arrest warrant, it is not an easy task. So we have to suspend your social right away. And we have to issue the new social on your name so that in future we can catch the suspect and also you can save yourself from these kind of a criminal activity. All right? All right. So, I have to, uh, in that case, I have to ask you that, are you willing to cooperate with the federal department and the procedure to clear your name from this case? Yes. All right. So, let me tell you how it's going to be done. First of all, we need to get your case and the arrest warrant cancelled. Then after your old social is going to be suspended and the new social is going to be allotted to you. All right? Okay. But before we suspend the number, I have to give you such information. Like, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, we got a financial document. And according to that, we got around 20 bank accounts, which has been opened, which has been by your name and by your personal information. 
So can you verify me that are you dealing with the 20 bank accounts or how many accounts do you have it under your name that you are using? I have two accounts. You do not have any account? I have two accounts. You have two accounts. Okay. Yes. And uh, which bank was, which bank you are using for like a, can you give me the name of the bank? Uh, the first bank would be Tiddy Bank. City or TD? TD Bank. TD Bank. And how long it happens that you are using this TD Bank? I've been using it for a year and a half now. Year and a half now, okay. Okay. And another one? The other one would be the Bank of Terry Makachut. Bank of? Bank of Terry Makachut. I'm sorry dear, I didn't I didn't understand. The Bank of Terry Makachut. Spell me out. Say that again. Spell me out. Okay, it's T E R I M A K A C H U T. Is that a bank name or what? I don't think so. it's a bank name. It is a bank name. Other that, you're Naga. You're Naga, Sorry? you're Naga and scamming for the Hindus, aren't you? I'm sorry, if you think that I'm trying to scam something like that, you, I'm really sorry you to tell you that you are in wrong. No, you're sorry, wrong, no. Naga Rundi. What? You're a Naga Rundi, you're from Nagaland, aren't you? I'm sorry, dear, you might be have, uh, you having a confusion. No, because you're really having the confusion because you're wasting talking. your own time scamming, you Naga Rundi bitch. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Same to you. You're the idiot. Same to you, okay? Yeah, you're the Same idiot. To you. Whatever you are saying, you're a to Same you. to you. Then why are you scamming, you Naga Rundi? Why are you scamming for the Hindus? I thought Nagas had more sense than scam for the Hindus. I think you got crazy. I really don't know no, what you're talking No, I think you're crazy. I think you are crazy. I think you no, have you're to go crazy. hospital, mental hospital, you know? No, you, need, a, a you definitely need you, a mental hospital, you, my little Naga you, yeah, you have to, you have to go there because I don't know what you are talking about. Something like I really don't understand about that. You don't so know. You don't understand anything about the American hospital. justice system, you Naga Rundi. Social Security Administration. This is Officer Adam. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I received some message about my social security being compromised, or my social security number being compromised, something like that. Okay, may I have your first and the last name, ma'am? Yeah, it's Edward Tellywacker. Edward Tellywacker? Yeah, Tallywacker. You want me to spell it out for you? Yes, please. Uh, last name is spelled T-A-L-L-Y. W A C K E R. W A C K E R. Yes. All right. So, ma'am, you might have received a message regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security number for fraudulent activities. Is that right? Uh, yes. That's what the voicemail said. Okay. Can you verify me your social security number so I can pull up your file? Yeah, it's four two zero two zero. Zero four two zero. So it's four two zero zero two zero four zero two. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you too, Benchard. 
You bitch, shit, cunt. No, you're the piece of shit. Call him right back. Hello? Hey. Hello? Hello? Yes, how can I help you? Yeah, I got a message about my social security being compromised. Okay, can I have your first and the last name? Yeah, Edward Tellywacker. Okay, and your social security number is 420200420, right? Yes. Why don't you go and fuck yourself? Go fuck yourself too, Ben Child.